I'm going back on the field. Okay. I'm okay. going with Stevie Scott, running back. Okay. We're at the very end of practice. It's hot it's, out it's today. It's hot for sure. It was hot. Players were dragging. They were dragging. Stevie Scott gets the ball, bursts through the line, lowers the shoulder. Did you guys see this run? And just <laughs> plowed over a defensive back. Yeah, and I, yeah but you know yeah. what? It was a thud. I mean, what was the defensive back supposed to do? Okay, but, but if the, he had taken his legs out, then everybody would have been upset at the him. The intensity it with just which wasn't he right. ran. Some of us saw this coming. Some of us believed in Stevie Scott way back in August, knew that after 10 games, he'd go over 100 yards four times, that he'd be second in the nation among FBS freshmen in rushing yards. And some of us were shouted down. But we kept the faith. Stevie Scott joining us now from our studio in Bloomington. Stevie, thank you for proving me right. First of all, do you remember that day in practice and trucking the safety in that drill? Uh, yeah, I definitely remember that play. That was sort of like a adrenaline play that just happened for me. Well, so take me back to that moment. Tell me about that adrenaline rush and, and plowing him over. And are you willing to reveal the name of who it was? Uh, well, I, reviewing his name, I just, I, I won't really say his name, but it just went with my teammates. <laughs> I'm going to let him be. <laughs> but uh, on that play, it was really, it was, it was really just me just running the ball hard and just, you know, finding the crease in the hole and just making an offensive play for my team. I know that the defense was very aggressive, you know, during all camp. So I know I just had that aggressive mindset just to finish hard and finish strong. Well, as I said, it was apparent to at least one of us on the tour that you had that aggressive mindset and that it might translate into a really good season, which it has. Now, the truth of the matter is you started the year pretty far down on the depth chart. So are you surprised by where you are at this point in the season, clearly the focal point of this rushing attack? Well, I'm not really surprised because, you know, I came here just to help this program change. You know, that was one of the reasons why I came here, and I know my capability, so... I thought once I got here, I could be able to showcase my skill set and just help this uh, program win. Well, take us through your recruitment. You're from Syracuse, New York, and I know part of it was a connection with Mike Hart, who, of course, Big Ten fans know from his days at Michigan, but also that he is from Syracuse. How important was that connection in terms of you ending up in Bloomington? Well, it was a very good connection with us. You know, it was very important just because being a running back and having that connection with your coach. That's part of the game, you know, that can help you build confidence in yourself and with your coach as well. So I thought that me and Coach Hart speaking all the time during the recruitment really helped me and pushed me to uh, come to Indiana. And that included a point where you got hurt your senior year. Take us back to that moment. Uh, yeah, my senior year I got hurt, I'll say, like the third game in. He's actually at that game watching me, you know, just coming to see me one of my high school games live. So he basically... He basically, once he seen how I went down, he just told me to keep my head up and things like that. Just gave me positive, positive comments, positive vibes. So, Well, you have been rolling indeed now. Four 100-yard rushing games as a freshman. The Indiana record is five, held by a fellow named Anthony Thompson. How much do you know about him? Uh, I know that uh, Anthony Thompson holds the rushing record for IU, and he's basically one of the best running backs that ever came out of IU. So I'm looking to basically, you know, keep up with him or catch up with him. We always have a lot of fun watching Tom Allen, both during the game, his enthusiasm, and of course, post-game press conferences. He's fantastic. He comes across as such an enthusiastic guy. Give us a sense, when the cameras are off, what's Tom Allen like to be around? Uh, the same way Coach Allen is, you know, on the cameras, the same way he is off the cameras. That's why we all love him. It's just the way that he interacts with the team, you know, he's it's a positive coach. He keeps our mindsets positive, and that's why we all like him. He mentioned after the game against Maryland that he had made no bones about the fact of telling you guys, hey, we are in a position now where we can play in a bowl game, and that is a big deal. How exactly have you guys internalized that message as a team? What are you talking about in terms of the bowl? Well, we know that these last two games are very crucial for us and that we have to finish strong just to get into this bowl game. We know that. Coming into the season, it wasn't going to be easy. All these games were going to be hard-fought battles. So, you know, we just had to keep our heads straight and just stay positive and keep that positive mindset. Just to finish, finish, finish. Uh, hopefully, we could be bowling. You guys are facing Michigan this week, leading the nation in total defense. What do you see when you watch the Wolverines on tape? 
Oh, that they're a very great defense, like you said, number one defense in the nation. So they're definitely athletic and have speed, and it should be a good game to play. For you guys to win the game, what do you need to do offensively? Oh, well, you know, just keep our heads straight, just stay positive, and just finish and dominate. We, we, we all know our capability, and we all know that we could play to our best. So that's all we have to do is just stay positive. All right, Stevie Scott, running back for Indiana. Stevie, thanks a lot for your time, and, and just remember who believed in you from the beginning, okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you.